Ms. Kuria, who will in turn invite the Prime Cabinet Secretary when he is done. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Chair of the Council of Governors, Governors Present, Cabinet Secretaries, Principal Secretaries, and all protocols observed. The Ministry of Public Service is cognizant that uh, the issue of reducing the wage bill from the current 46% of our revenue to that 5%, it is not a nice to have, it's a must to have. It is not an option, it's an imperative. And in this regard, the Ministry is also cognizant of the fact that this is not the only issue that we have to deal with to reduce our recurrent expenditure, which continues to frustrate our ambitions. As we open our balance sheet every year, we open with an unrevocable commitment to fund several programs, to fund our free primary uh, program, to fund our free secondary program, to fund our sub uh, fertilizer subsidy program, to fund our social protection, to fund our counties, to fund our NGCDF. I, I don't know why anybody would want to be the president of this country. Because even before we open the year, we are opening with so many commitments which are unrevocable and which are non-discretionary. So to add to this issue of the wage bill shows that uh, we really are already operating within a very constrained fiscal space and so therefore we must do. And in this regard, uh, my ministry commits on behalf of national government to do four things. One. I will be shortly moving to cabinet to seek cabinet approval that all establishment, all staff establishment as approved, subject to cabinet approval, will remain suspended until review of the same is done so that we can ask ourselves whether those establishments make sense or not. Secondly, uh, my ministry is going to spearhead a government-wide uh, uh, program on, of uh, looking at our processes, reviewing our processes, asking ourselves which processes are not making sense, asking ourselves which processes can be done using uh, digitization so that as we review our establishment that uh, we are able to uh, have a public service that is fit for purpose. That, Your Excellency, as uh, has been mentioned in the commitment, is to ensure that by December 2024, we migrate everybody from the president to, my, to the smallest person, to the driver within a uh, public service, to a system of uh, performance management, and that one we will uh, we will implement. Finally, Your Excellency, is on the issue of training. All public servants must be trained. To have public servants who are not trained is like taking uh, someone from the streets, giving them a gun, recruiting them into the police service. Uh, without taking them to, to Kikanjo and expecting them to perform. Everyone must be trained so that we can all act in a consistent, coherent manner so as to build our value system within the public service. Thank you, Excellency.